Okay, so <clears throat> we, if f of x equals the absolute value of x, we need to prove that the derivative does not exist at x equals 0. So let's look at the function, the absolute value function. And if you remember, the absolute value function on the right side, if x is positive or x is uh, um, equal to 0, then we have y equal x. On the other hand, if x is negative, then we take negative x, and negative, negative becomes positive. This is the absolute value function, and it's defined as the following. By definition, the absolute value function, and you had a homework problem that dealt with another absolute value function, I think at x minus 3 or something like that. Uh, so instead of x equals 0, we're going to look at x equals 3. It's defined as the following. If x is positive, then f of x equals x. If x is e greater than 0, equals 0. However, when x, equal, when x is negative, then we take negative x. So uh, f of x is always positive. Okay? So how are we going to prove the limit thing? Uh, well, if you look at the definition, let's look at f of f prime of x. It's defined as the limit as x supposed to zero of the absolute of uh, the absolute value value of uh, x plus h minus the absolute value of x over h. Right. So we need to break it down into two sides. Let's see what happens if we approach uh, from zero from from the left the left side. So from actually, let's do from the f right side. Let's see what happened to f prime when we approach zero from the right. Zero plus. Okay. So it will be the limit of x plus or zero plus, so when h approaches when h approaches zero, right there. Zero plus h, because it's positive, then we are looking at the top part of the piecewise function. Okay, minus h positive like so, over h, and what happens is you have. Uh, one, because at the end of the day, you have the limit of h over h, and it's one. On the other hand, what happened to f prime when we approach zero from the negative side? The difference is right here. Remember, we need to take negative x. Or if it's h plus h, we need to take the negative value. So we'll have negative 0 minus plus h. Okay? Minus 0 minus, like so, over h. And again, if you clear the parentheses and all of that, you end up having the limit as h approaches 0 minus Please add that 0 plus here and 0 minus here. You have negative h divided by h, and it's negative 1. And here is a proof that f prime does not exist because uh, one of the uh, requirements for the limit to exist is if you approach from the left, uh, it has to equal to the value when you approach from the right. In this case, uh, f prime. 0 plus does not equal to f prime 0 minus, and therefore f prime at value of 0 does not exist. And this completes the proof. Okay, so you got a little bit of theory here. Turn out that function that has point like this, they are continuous. We don't have to lift the pen from, uh, from the paper, but the derivative, they're not differentiable at this point, okay? Uh, additional examples would be something like this. If you have a, a spike function, right? What is a spike function? Something like that. Okay. 
Well, this function is continuous. This, this is getting together. It's not going to infinity. Okay. So it's continuous, but not differentiable. So this is uh, y equal f of x. And we're going to say that, and this is x equal a, right there. I'm going to say that f of a is continuous, but f prime of a does not exist. So the function is continuous but not differentiable. All right. 